Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for today, Father God. Thank you for allowing us to see another day. Father God, we ask you right now to forgive us of any sins we've done. Father God, if there's anything blocking us from hearing this word, from understanding what you're trying to say, please remove it, Father God. Father God, we ask you to take the blinders off our eyes, take the blockage out of our ears, Father God. Let us hear, Father God. Father God, we ask you to bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' name. Amen. So our memory verse of the week is James 4 and 3. You ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it in on your passions. James 4 and 3. Verse of the day is Proverbs 7, 20, 7, 27 and 19. As in water falls reflects faces, so the heart of man reflects the man. Subject, what is your heart reflecting? Christian truth, so I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm truly in love with Jesus. I'm content. I am bold. I'm not losing focus. Read time is 7 minutes and 37 seconds. I remember being in the darkest place and hearing the Lord tell me, you'll be okay. Remember to praise me. I praised him with everything I had and I had little to give. I couldn't get out of my mindset of being in complete anxiety. I could remember feeling stuck and feeling like I couldn't get out of the dark hole I felt I was in. As I praised God, I felt better. And every day I will praise him and pray, praise him and pray. And that was my routine already, but it was different. Everything felt different. It felt like I was praising from somewhere inside myself. I have never felt. And I realized that what I was doing this whole time was done out of routine. It wasn't done out of I want to. It was because I had to. And I knew I had to praise. I knew I had to pray. But once I got to the place where I n knew I needed to, everything changed. My praise, my prayer, everything changed because I allowed him in. I didn't allow what others say steered me away. When you get to a place where you realize you need him or that you need to spend time, everything becomes so much more valuable. You stop looking at the time and you start look, wondering how how can you get more? How can you go deeper? And that's the thing. We go deeper by allowing ourselves to let go. No, this devotional isn't about how to praise. It's about how to let go. How to let go of the time and let go of what you think you have to do and about what you need to do. First Samuel 16 and 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look on the appearance of the height of the statue because I rejected him. For the Lord sees not as a man sees. Man looks in the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Holy Spirit wants us to praise him like David. He wants us to praise him because we need to feel him. And I'm going to be honest with you all. Not every day you're going to speak. Feel the spirit move and when I heard someone say this to me I thought they were just lying and I had to it had it happen to me God wants us to know if know if we're there just for the feel goods but you're there because you need him how bad do you need God how bad do you need to draw closer to him a lot of times we are numb because we aren't letting his spirit in we are numb because we have allowed situations and emotions to run us Jeremiah 17 and 9 the heart is deceitful above all things to see that's really sick who can understand God is saying no more he said come to me because you need me spend time with me because you need me draw closer to me after all anyone can draw closer to, to Jesus because just look at Judas he was never he was near Jesus every day he was only there for the money he must and we must be like Peter and John needing him every day needing his presence because I can tell you I, I lived a life without his presence it was lonely and painful but God wants us to live a life full in for him and full life meaning worshiping him genuinely wanting to be with him and not just with him for the blessings he wants us to want the blesser too I a full life full of his presence in it with you everyone ha always talks about peter but if you notice peter is thirsty to have more he shows he loved jesus even though he left jesus high and dry he returned to him he returned and redeemed himself from what he did many of us make mistakes and we don't see them as mistakes matthew 16 and 23 jesus turned and said to him get behind me satan you are a stumbling block to me you did not consider god's concern about merely human concerns 
Peter owed, owed, owed out P Satan to use him in that moment. You see, we allow Satan to come in and we allow him to distort our thinking and the truth. We can't be like Peter or Paul, but what we can be is ourselves. We can allow ourselves, our routine to change our thinking or our way. We must be heartfelt with everything we do. I can sit here and list you to list you about things I, I don't do and tell you all the sins I don't commit. But really and honestly, that doesn't matter. It's about our heart. Where is your heart? What does your heart say about you? Does it say that you desire to serve God or does it say I'm doing this because I must? If we are in a religious mindset, a legalistic mindset, we won't ever have a genuine relationship with God. God looks at the heart, not the outward appearance, not how, how much we have, not where we live, and not how many times we pray, but he truly looks at what is happening inside. Proverbs 27, 19, as in water, as in water place, I'm sorry, as in water face reflects face, so is the heart of man reflects the man. Today we looked, we learned that the heart reflects us. And a lot of times we try to hide what's going on in the inside by doing things we think God wants. Sure, he wants us to read our word and he wants us to pray, etc. But he wants what's inside to be authentic and not routine. Many of us quickly say what we have done, but how do we feel? The verse today says a lot. What is your heart reflecting? What is what is it saying about you? Deep inside, you can mean good by doing all these things, but do you genuinely love him the way he loves you? Do we truly see him as our beloved savior, or do we see, say it with our lips and our heart is far from him? Matthew 15 and 8, these people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Jesus knew how people were. He knew they could say one thing with their lips and their heart be so far from him. We all can wear a mask sometimes, maybe to hide our true feelings or to say we're okay and we aren't. But with Jesus, we we can't wear a mask. We He sees us for who we are and what we are pretending to be. If you if you if this is you, ask God to cleanse your heart and with hyssop. Ask him to help you change and he will do it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything. Forgive us for the sins we have done. Father, we, we don't want to be legalistic. We want to praise you honestly we want to love you wholeheartedly and we say and we we wanted to match father god lord we give you everything including our day lord we don't want to feel numb but we we give you our heart mold it into what you want forgive us of anything we have done knowing and unknowingly help us to be more like you lord we love you so much and we thank you in jesus name amen Ref reference matthew 6 and 21 for for where your treasure is, there your heart it will be also. Psalms nineteen fourteen. Let the heart of the mouth and the meditation of your heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalms nineteen and fourteen. Proverbs twenty one and two. Every way of a man is right in his eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. Proverbs twenty one and two. Further reading Proverbs four, Exodus thirty seven, First Samuel twenty one and Ezra three. This ends what is your heart reflecting. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or friend. If you have time, please go to social media and like and subscribe and, and share this particular podcast on your social media, please. If you have time also, please go to YouTube and, and like and subscribe. I have over 15,000 followers. So I'd like for you to be one. Thank you. Be blessed.